how are we all? You never really see this angle of the living room, do you? But I'm just perching on my coffee table today, as you do. And I'm back with another Wednesday video. And this time round, I am working with HomeSense, which I'm sure you guys have heard of before. It's very much a blogger favorite, very much just a general interiors homeware favorite. I've got two things to tell you. Did you know, number one, they're part of the TK Maxx family. And number two, it is their 10th birthday this year which is why I'm going to go in you're going to come shopping with me we're going to like have a little wander around and then I'm going to show you my 10 favorite finds from home sense as of right now and I'm very excited I have made a little bit of a list however home sense is one of those places where you can like go in and need a spoon and come out with like a, a footstool <laughs> I fully prefer for that to happen and just to completely ditch the list and actually there's one in Brighton I've been there plenty of times before I originally got into it because they have a very good like organization section with amazing makeup storage you guys know I'm all over that also great towels really really great towels and that's the thing you can get such a good bargain in there you can find big brands and really unique pieces up to 60% off but today I'm not venturing to the Brighton one it is good however I have heard that there's one in Southampton it's called Hedge End and apparently that place is the one there is a TK Maxx next door to a home sense apparently it is massive and i'm very excited to go so that's where i'm going to go today there's actually 50 stores across the uk if you want to find your nearest one i'll pop the link in the description box below so you can find the one that is most local to you and mark is coming along with me and it's basically just going to be like a very chilled saturday afternoon with hopefully some bargain finds and um, he's already bugging me about dinner he's like what are we gonna do for dinner i'm like i don't know we're in southampton maybe we'll find something there so we'll take you along for the ride and then i'll come back and show you what i bought we have arrived and it's absolutely massive. I'll show you. So I'm looking really Mariah Carey with my sunglasses on, but I promise it was sunny. Look at this. Look at it. It's absolutely massive. Come Coffee. on, we've got shopping to do. Oh my God, it is enormous. I think we're gonna need one of these. Okay, this place is huge, absolutely massive. And the third of it is cushion. I have seen the cushion. This caught my eye the minute that we walked in. You ready? Is that yeah. kind of like mustardy yellow? Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. The little, nice, nice, little tassels. Little, little dusty kind of tassels and the 12.99. Can I get two? Fine by me. Does that count as one of my 10 or two of my 10? Let's break the rules. That looks nice. Imagine that in the office. That. Oh, in green as well. What ones do you prefer? The green or the yellow? I think I prefer the yellow. Correct answer. I prefer the yellow too. Oh, I didn't realise that was a correct answer. Yes, there was. I need a plant pot for what's that big, the yucca? I think that might be too small. I think I need this one. Well, I think so. Do you? Well, this one's 9 99 and this one is 12 99 We'll give it a go. Um, it's 12 99 and I think that would look really nice in my office. Mm -hmm. uh, Filled up the trolley. Oh, that candles. These are all colour coded as well. That's quite satisfying. Okay, this one smells amazing. Sweet fig. This is a, a oud wood and black pepper. Oh, okay. Oh, it smells like a sexy man. Oh, you prefer your one? I like that one. Yeah? But this one would be really good when the candle's finished. That'd be a nice little. You know what? You make a point. Mark is still arguing the case for the. Um, you know what? That can be one of your top 10 picks. This is Mark's top pick is this candle that smells of what did you say sexy, sexy man, man. <laughs> we have discovered the side table and footstool section and i've seen one that i like the spot that i need it for is next to my office sofa and it's quite small but sometimes i just want to have something to like be able to put a glass of water on or something that looks like the perfect size marble top black on the sides and it is 49.99 Unbelievable. That'll cost a fortune somewhere else. Um, so, I need to get this in here. Oh no, I feel um, full already. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Perfect. I told you we need a trolley. Like a glove. <laughs> mirrors. Mirrors. I saw this and I thought of you because we've been wanting, you know, one of those mirrors with like a leather strap over the top to go over our TV section. Ah, you know that our TV yeah. Is? It's a bit like blank on the top and we need yeah, to have yeah. a wall. Although it's not a leather strap, I actually quite like that it's rope. How much would you say it is? I think I saw it, I think it's 20 quid. It's 
Have you ever seen these? To hold your banana in. There are so many little, there's so many little like knick-knack things here though that could be quite handy. We okay. actually just lost each other for 10 minutes. What, what were you looking at? I was looking at sort of like tea and coffee things. Cool. What were you I, looking at? I've been at the marble Ooh. section. We've got that like fake piece of marble on the right hand side of our stove. We have. So handy. It is. And so I'm thinking let's get something for the other side of the stove. Um, I quite like these like circular ones or I, there's like, do we want a slightly bigger one? Oh look, that's massive! <laughs> you're like shaking to hold it. We went to plant this this morning. I think you're right, I think this one. Oh, I think it'll yeah. look quite nice. Now we found photo frames. And we don't have a lot of photos up in our, in our flat, but I actually would like to pop up I'd really like to get a copy of the photo of... Do you know which photo I'm going to talk about? Yes. What photo do you think I'm going to The one we were walking out of our wedding. Yes. I wasn't going to say... I was going to say I'd quite like a photo of my grandma and granddad's wedding day because I think it's the most adorable photo ever. But also one of our wedding day would be good as well. Mark is currently pulling a face right now. <laughs> um, I, I quite like the small one. I like the small one. It was supposed to be $7.99 and it's $5.99. There's only one more find to get. Ooh. I was very tempted by a clock, um, but Mark made a point that the ticking might mm. be a bit annoying. Do you, not, um, do you not think you're running out of vases? It... It's okay, the photo frames didn't fall over. Um, me being sarcastic because I have lots of vases like my mother. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have this as my final pick for makeup brushes when you travel. Nice one. Cute, right? Yeah, nice one. Is that 10? I think so. Okay, we're gonna pay for all this and somehow fit this all in the car. And then when I get home, I'll show you what I've got, talk you through and show you how I style them. So it's Sunday morning now and I am surrounded by all of my purchases. You'll be pleased to know that Mark was fed last night. We had pizza, he was very happy with that. But by the time we got back, it was like 10 o'clock. So I thought, you know what? I will wait till the morning to show you everything. And actually, I've even put some of them in their spot. I quite like that there in the living room. I was thinking that was an office pillow, but I'm thinking maybe a living room one. Um, and I'm just gonna talk you through everything, talk you about where it's gonna go, why I bought them, why I think they were great purchases. And actually, let's, let's start off with number one, the pillow. This was the first thing that I picked up when we went in there and when we went in home since, I like saw them in my eye line. They're at the end of an aisle. I was like, yes, that is what I want. I am so into this color, but it's like an off greeny kind of mustard. And the fact that it's this velvety soft fabric, I am just so into. I mean, one day I would love to get like a little armchair or a footstool in this color, but I think this is a good way of adding this color in without spending an absolute fortune. They were $12.99 each, which is such a good price for a pillow considering you get the case and you also get the pillow inside. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with those. Maybe one in here, one in the office. I'm not 100% sure. I actually do quite like them in here. Maybe it's time to incorporate a bit of color. The second thing I picked up, and it's not incorporating a lot of color, but it is so soft. That's why I picked up this throw and it's $16.99. And I just feel like if you were to buy this in like a fancy shop, it would not be $16.99, but it's so soft. It's great. It's got like a sort of diagonal pattern going through it. And then I love ones with the little like threads at the end because I think they look really cool like draped over things when you've got this little bit of detail. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be a throw for my office because we have so many throws for the living room. When people come over, I give them blankets. Not because it's cold, but just because I want everyone to feel really comfortable <laughs> and snuggly. And so my friends come around and we all sit on this sofa and under our blankets and it's so nice. But I don't have one in the office and it's not like I'm not gonna take a nap in the office or anything like that. But you know, sometimes you just want maybe like a blanket over your knees or something is 100% one of the biggest perks of working for yourself at home. Um, but I think this will look really nice draped over the sofa in there, just add a little bit more like coziness to it and come in quite handy too. I can't really remember what came next. I have a feeling it was this. So this is my third pick. This is a massive, whoa, hello. <laughs> this is a massive plant pot. In fact, it is so big that we brought it back and Mark was like, oh yeah, probably could have got away with the smaller one. But I think it's good to buy one that is slightly too big for the plant you've got now because plants grow, they need to be repotted. Sometimes it's good to have an option in case they, you know, have a little growth spurt. And I think in like, give it six months, our yucca will fit in here perfectly. This one's at $12.99. And again, like you just don't get plant pots this big, this heavy, like it's a great quality pot. 
Um, for 12.99, I'll swear you really don't. Um, they did have it in three sizes. Sure, I could have found a use for the slightly smaller one, but I'm happy with the one that we've got. I'll talk you through this candle because this was Mark's top pick. So really, it's my top nine with Mark's top pick from HomeSense. And there is a saying that you haven't been to HomeSense unless you bought a candle. Because the candle selection, as Mark pointed out in the video, is like colour coordinated. You guys know, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> and so it's very pleasing to the eye and the scents there. I really liked a sweet fig one, but Mark was very determined on this oud wood and black pepper. And I have to say, it's very nice. Like, you know when your man has just come out of the shower and they just smell so good? Like, Mark always thinks I'm a bit of a freak, so I'm like... Oh, you smell incredible right now. It is 100% that scent. And I do think he was right that actually, when this is burnt down, this would make a really good like makeup brush holder, general utensil holder, holder for your forks and knives if you want to put them on the table and be all like cool dining experience when your friends come around. Um, so yeah, and this was 10 pounds, I think, 9.99. 9.99. It's hefty, it's big, it's gonna last you a long time. Oh, this is one of the last things you saw me pick up. It's just a very cute little pencil case. It'd be great if you actually needed a pencil case for work, studies, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually going away tomorrow, so I'll be spending the rest of today packing, and I think this would be really good if you were just taking like a very minimal amount of makeup with you, which I'm going camp with my family, like that's what it's gonna be. I'll probably just wear a bit of concealer. I'll probably wear absolutely nothing at all. And this will sit unloved, but I do think it would be really good for makeup brushes as well. It's got quite a good length to it, and it's just plain, it's simple. I like the crosses. I just thought this would be quite a handy thing to have, and it was £4.99. Let's talk about this photo here that you can see. I can't remember how much this frame was. I feel like I mentioned it in the clip. I think it was about eight-ish pounds, maybe ten pound. Um, it's just like a plain, thin gold frame. Um, I popped a picture from a honeymoon in it, um, but like Mark said, we will get one of our wedding day. And I just think it's very chic and nice. I'm not into like crazy big frames with like lots of stuff on them. I like to be very simple, either like a black frame that we've got there. Not mad into silver, so I did appreciate that they had gold, because sometimes I find like just plain gold, like not too yellow, not rose gold, none of that. I find that this quite hard to find, so I was quite happy that they had this in there. Probably should have got the smaller one as well, because then it would have been quite nice to like have them both out, or if we had like a gallery wall one day. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you this, but you saw it in the clip. But this, this here, this little side table, it was exactly, there you go, I'm leaning on it. It was exactly what I was looking for. It is the right height. It is the right size. I've tested it out in my office. It fits in perfectly. And um, I might be popping up like an Instagram of it soon. So if you want to see what that looks like, keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, it just, it was exactly, just exactly what I wanted. And it was 49 99 again, which is such a good price. Like it's heavy. <laughs> like if you couldn't already tell from me struggling to get it in the trolley, it's seriously hefty, a great quality piece. And I just think they had some really good side table options in there. If you're looking for a side table, not like a coffee table necessarily, just like a table to have, oh, it would look quite good there as well. If you wanna have it like next to an armchair or something, it would just fit on your bowl of cereal and a drink and like a book perching on the end perfectly. And I just think it's gonna come in really handy. Also a good height for if I ever wanna do laptop stuff, not on my lap. Oh, I just thought of that. Great, yeah. Over the moon with that purchase. I think we're up to my ninth pick, hopefully, if I've counted right. This marble serving board, you would have seen me get this for $12.99. They had such a good choice of chopping boards in that hedge end store. Like, there were so many to pick from. Like, that was a clip. That was like a one minute clip that you were shown that was cut down from like a good 15 minutes of me standing there and being like, but this one, but this one, but this one. They had so many, all different types of marbles as well. Like this is quite like a white gray marble, but they had like a really gray blue one. They had pink gray marble there as well, which was stunning. Just so much choice, a really great price and like really hefty as well. So we're gonna pop this next to our stove. If you have wooden worktops like we do in your kitchen, it's so handy to have a piece of stone next to the worktop. So if you just want to take something off the heat or you've got like a spoon and you don't know where to put it, it's just nice to have this. It's easily wipeable. It's not going to get damaged if you put something hot on. It's just like extra protection. It's one of the best things that we ever bought for our kitchen and it's such like a small, insignificant purchase, you might think, but let me tell you, you get a lot of use out of these. Also great if you've got friends coming around and you want to like do a fancy cheese platter or something like that. 
put it on this and they're gonna like lose their mind. Final purchase is one that we will be putting up today and it is this mirror. Oh look, there's you there. As we said in the clip, this was 12 99 and the one that we were looking at to buy was like over a hundred pounds. So we saved ourselves some serious money there. And I quite like that it's got this rope top. We're gonna pop it in the corner over the top of the TV and um, because in our front room we've kind of got like a TV unit here, we've got the fireplace here, we've got the bookshelf that you've seen before in the corner. Because the bookshelf is so tall it doesn't really like match the other side, the other side just looks a little bit like empty, it kind of needs something over the top of the TV. Not necessarily a picture but we've always wanted a mirror there so this is perfect for that space. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with us. We had so much fun. Big love to HomeSense for partnering with me on this video and also happy birthday. Happy 10th birthday. It's been a good 10 years. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I'll be back on Sunday with um, April favourites. So I'll see you then. Bye.